All right, ready? I'm trying. <laughs> In the heart of the Louisiana Bayou, just three hours from New Orleans, one town knows that you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Over 5,000 of them. Bienvenue, and welcome to Abbeville. Population 10,972. This small town is home to one giant omelet celebration. It's an all-weekend party where crawfish, Cajun tradition, and a centuries-old knighting ceremony are all just ingredients in America's biggest breakfast. Bon appétit. I'm Dylan Thuris reporting for Atlas Obscura, and this is Small Town. Big story. <laughs> I've been a member of the Giant Omelette Festival Conferee since 19, I think, 1998. We are the Guinness Book of World Records Giant Omelette for the United States. The Giant Omelette is a festival that scrambles up 5,000 eggs in a 12-foot skillet over an open fire. In the middle of the street. In the middle of the street, yeah. Abbeville is a member of a worldwide conferee. The Giant Omelette happens in six other places in the world. It's really a cultural exchange between people of French language and culture. Je m'appelle Marie-Josée Petit, je suis, né, je suis mariée avec Dominique, et nous sommes ici pour le jumelage avec le Fréjus et Abbeville, qui sont uh, ville jumelle pour le melette, pour le melette géant. It's best. Yeah. It's probably better. Yeah. It's better. better. Yeah. In France yeah. is a. No, in France, no. no. <laughs> Don't give this in France huh, because we are. A... <laughs> <laughs> so once the skillet is brought onto the fire, the butter is added to it, and I think it's like 52 or 53 pounds of butter. Then the onions and the bell pepper and any other vegetables are added to it. And then the crawfish is added. That's our staple. We love crawfish in this area. We've got a huge uh, industry, a huge crawfish industry. This is Barry's Crawfish Farm. Yeah. Basically, he's creating a really good, healthy wetland habitat. So this is the kind of trap that uh, we use. Uh, we bait these traps with a little piece of fish like that. Crawfish come in here. Right, these little, through these little these side little holes, holes, and they can't figure out how to get back out of those. Correct. Yes, they do bite, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I've never tried it. Here, yeah. try, put, I'm put good. your finger right I'm there. I'm good, I'm so, all right. Uh, we going out on this boat, and yes. we're gonna like. Yes, gonna go out on the boat, we're gonna make the round, you actually gonna pick up the trap. Okay. I'm just gonna drive the boat. You're gonna hand the trap back to me, I'm gonna put it back in the water. Oh, so there's only a couple in here. You gotta, you gotta go quicker than that, the next one's coming up. Can I throw the... Oh, I put that back to you. you Got to get all the crawfish out. Oh, that's one. That's a rookie mistake. Leaving yeah. a crawfish in. Yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it. I don't think I'm getting the job. I think I'm a little too slow picking it up, VR. Oh, you got one in your foot. Ah! ah. I can't imagine pulling 800 of these in a day. So we pulled about 100 traps kind of early in the season, but we got, I don't know, it feels like a good, a good amount of crawfish here. I wasn't that good at it. I missed a lot of traps. I fumbled the fish heads. <laughs> he, he, he made about a C, C plus. <laughs> this is my normal grade average, unfortunately. There, there's room for improvement. I to be a C plus student. So this is a, this is a crawfish boil. That's it. This is it. <laughs> Wait, so you break the tail off and then you suck this part out? You, you yeah. squeeze the head, squeeze the head. Just it's, the got, it's got some juices in there. It's a Cajun party. Yeah. You're drinking, you're eating. You're hanging out. You're, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I'm best, I'm the best at eating mm -hmm. them. That's yep. the thing I'm good at. That is what I'm here to do. What we're famously known for is the most Cajun place on earth. You know, Louisiana's known for especially for tourism, is New Orleans, right? And people go to New Orleans and they expect Cajun. Well, New Orleans isn't Cajun. New it's Orleans Creole. Creole. Yeah. The true Cajun culture is, you know, our area, Lafayette, St. Martinville, Abbeville. We have that French heritage. In my opinion, being Cajun is planning dinner at breakfast, enjoying a good dance, having a beer, the joie de vivre, if, joy if, of life. I've noticed pretty 
French speaking place here. Uh, did you grow up speaking French? Oh yes, my grandfather, my maternal grandfather not, spoke not a word of English. The group that is responsible for sponsoring the, the giant omelet is called the Conferie d'Abbeville. It involves about, at this point, we have over 100 members. Like the Conferie kind of is a secret society-ish, you know? In that sense, I guess it is a little bit of an of a underground cult. It's an honor to be invited. Um, it, it means that that group thinks that you could really contribute and be a good ambassador of your city. In the knighting ceremony, you swear to uphold the traditions of the omelet. You do this in French. When you get most of our members that don't really know how to speak French yet, they really get nervous about that. Maybe we should learn what I need to learn to get knighted for this, okay. this ceremony. For the ceremony, all right, let's do it. I'll say it in English and then say it in French. Okay. I make the oath to pledge to stay faithful to the tradition of the giant omelet. Okay, so now you would say, je fais. Je fais. Le serment, le serment de rester, de rester fidèle. fidèle à la tradition de l'omelette tant que je vivrai et de transmettre à mes enfants le usage de cette coutume. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the word confrérie means brothers, or, or members, or night, good friends, and so. The Conferie is a friendship, an organization based on friendships. And these friendships are created only as a result of cooking giant omelets. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm your guy, whatever you need. I'll be around, come find me. I like to say that these friendships, this Conferie, these memberships are developed one egg at a time. I'm officially, at least for this weekend, a Chevalier. All the people here like put in like real, like real work, <laughs> like many years of working on the Omelette Festival. And I just sort of showed up and got my name engraved pan and my hat and my jacket. And so now I think they're gonna put me to work for the rest of this weekend. This is the big day. This is the Omelette Festival. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We just had the blessing of the eggs and this procession into the church. There'll be a mass given there in French. The whole service is going to be in French. As I've learned more about like, what it is to be Cajun, Catholicism is a part of it, French obviously is a huge part of it, and food, and it all sort of merges on this day. I'm excited to see actually how this giant omelet gets made. And I have a sense of the scale, but like I don't think I'm really gonna understand it until I'm actually like doing the, making the omelet. You see the stand? I do. We are going to put an egg between Those the two, two. holders. Uh -huh. And we're going to tighten the egg down. Okay. Then you are going to be in the tractor. You are going to use the clutch. Okay. And you're going to ease back and only put a crack in the egg. Just a crack. <laughs> if it starts oozing out, you, you crack you, it too you, much. You it You've been right. cracked. So, I don't think I've ever driven a tractor. <laughs> So this is going to be a new it's, experience it's for easy, me. It's easy, it's easy. Right. Oh! Oh, you're getting there, you're getting there. Oh, oh, hey! hey. hey. Nothing hey. came out. It just like dimpled it a little bit. That's going to be tough to beat. <laughs> Did it do anything? No. On you? No, you didn't. That, um, egg, you that was the ceramic egg that you were. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a real egg. This one is a All real right. egg. <laughs> oh! I'm just kind of 
cutting this in half down here, right? Like, half side and do it. All right. Half, and then I cut it this way. You got it. And then into pieces like that, and then into there? Yeah. All right. This station is more dangerous than the egg cracking. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more, a lot more to keep an eye on over here. All right, everybody. That's time. They are Seem like you're you look like you haven't broken a sweat. I am still blazingly hot. Uh, you know, when I when I heard about this, like the world's largest omelet festival, I thought, like, that's pretty cool, that's fun. I don't think I really understood what was happening. Like, now that I've been here and I've talked to all these people about Cajun culture, about what it means to be from this part of Louisiana, about how it's all about hospitality and feeding people and partying and dancing and music, it all goes into this omelet, and I actually haven't tried it yet. I spent about three hours making it, and now I'm gonna try it. Hang on. That is an excellent omelet. That is delicious. I can say I've got friends worldwide because of the giant omelet. It's a wonderful thing. It's an, it's an exchange entre la France et la Louisiane, premièrement. En plus, c'est une confrérie. I speak Cajun French. Yeah. yeah. I, I was, my, my grandparents spoke just French, and yeah. I learned how to speak French at a young age, and I'm very proud to be Cajun. Cajuns are known for their hospitality and their food. Yeah. And you got it both over here. You can taste everything that makes this part of the world special and Cajun in this omelet. This is truly Cajun country omelet right here. Mm.